I'm Ilsa Crawford, and this is a series of three Good Design Masterclasses sponsored by Braun to mark their 100th anniversary. This episode is about the principle of useful design. Fundamentally, useful is about functional things that people really need. It also implies that these are things for everyone. Design is a tool to create things that are really useful, not novelty or stylish fads. Genuinely useful design creates the building blocks of our lives, and this includes the unmeasurables, trust, beauty, robustness, dignity, pleasure, truly useful values if embedded in design. I mean, what could be more useful than a prosthetic limb? And specifically here, prosthetic hand which is called the Eilim Quantum from a company based in Iceland called Ossa. And it's a state-of-the-art hand. You can program it with your four most common gestures. It plugs into a prosthetic socket and essentially takes the electromagnetic signals from your muscles to move. It also looks unashamedly robotic. It looks unashamedly technological with its titanium finger. This really has been a shift from the times when to have a prosthetic limb was a matter of shame and social stigma to today, when a prosthetic is not only functionally useful, I mean, technological shifts have made it a wonderful accessory in terms of dexterity, but also a thing of beauty. So it's now also useful from a social point of view. It's something to be proud of. Shaving provides an interesting mirror to the social and cultural shifts of the early 20th century. So for example, wet shaving was the norm at the turn of the 20th century and by definition it was done or tended to be done in the bathroom. Then, in 1915, the dry shaver was invented and various iterations happened over time. But essentially what it did was give the possibility of being able to shave elsewhere in the office. Even with this one, the brown Parrot BT, in the car, because you could plug it into the cigarette lighter. And so it was a pioneer, if you like, of the unplugged lifestyle. But of course, useful is not something that is pinned down in stone. Taste shift, value shift. And of course, change continues because now beards are back. Beards are growing again. So now there are new typologies again, beard clippers and trimmers. So what is useful is continually tied into the cultural and social shifts of any time. Biking has increased exponentially in recent years, especially in the US. It's fantastic not just for getting from A to B, but also for exercise, for freedom, for fun, and always zero emissions. And, of course, they are beautiful pieces of functional design. So electric bikes, you know, they are being presented as an alternative, not just to bikes, but also actually to cars. This one is by a Dutch company called Van Moof. And for them, their ethos is that the electric bike is the sustainable future of mass transportation. Now, this is a municipal object. It's a commuter tool, and you see it in what's in front of you. It's sturdy. Everything's integrated into the frame, the brakes, the battery, the light. Everything is embedded. And when they develop new models, they don't 
mess around with new styles or novelty, every upgrade is based on improving the functionality of this bike. This is their message, that this is transport. One of the things that's interesting about this company is that they are looking at their supply chains in order to take full control. So this makes it useful in a wider sense, because as a manufacturer, they are making a product that is useful from an environmental point of view. To sum up the principle of useful design, useful provides solutions for real needs. Sometimes it can make things more convenient, but it can also improve lives in quite profound ways. We need to be thinking more about the three principles of brown design, and we need to be thinking more about sustainable systems. Thank you for joining, and I hope it's given you food for thought.